Hello, Year One. Here are your religious education lessons for this week. When I heard you were going to visit a synagogue, I hope you don't mind. I decided to come along. Now, what do you remember about Christian places of worship from your last virtual visit? I believe you went to Canterbury Cathedral on the screen. What did you see or hear inside? Did you learn something new? Have a think about it. Can I talk about a place of worship? Your steps to success are, I know that Jews can worship in a synagogue. I can tell you what I expect to see on my virtual tour. I can talk about the features in a synagogue. I can tell you what surprised me. Here are some star words to help you. Place of worship, menorah, star of David, ark, scrolls, Torah, synagogue, prayer shawl. Hearing Torah read is important to Jews. Men and women worship separately in a synagogue. They don't sit together. Orthodox synagogues are slightly different to reform synagogues. So you won't always see the same things. Have a look at the picture. What do you notice? Anything there that surprised you? Hello everyone. Do you remember when you were learning about going to Canterbury Cathedral, a Christian church? You were asked to think about what you might see in a church. Maybe you'd expect to see a candle. Maybe a Bible, the holy book for Christians. Or maybe a cross or a symbol of a cross. Remember, not all churches are the same. They might have things that are the same. They might have different things. Now, if you were going to visit a synagogue, the special place for Jewish people to worship, I wonder what you would expect to see. Maybe a seven branch candlestick called a menorah. Maybe the Torah scrolls, the Jewish holy book. This is a replica, the real ones are much bigger. Maybe you'd expect to see the symbol of Judaism, the Star of David. When you watch the video, see if you can spot some of the things I've mentioned and see if you notice anything else that's in a synagogue. I'll see you on the other side of the video. Bye-bye for now. On Saturday morning, the whole family goes to synagogue. Well, I don't know if I like worshipping at synagogue better than worshipping at home, but it is very different. At home, you're just in a family, but in the synagogue, it's just like you're in a whole group a big group of people, loads of Jewish people. It's much more of a treat at synagogue because we're always at home and we're not always at synagogue. Behind the curtain is a cupboard or ark where the Torah scrolls are kept. Jews believe the Torah was given to us by God. The Torah tells us how God wants us to live our lives. Because for the Jews, the Torah scrolls are so special, They've got almost robes 
put around them. They've got velvet cloth with lots of decorations and silver and gold and jewels and things like that decorated on it. And it makes it even nicer because it looks nice and it feels nice. The scroll is very old, so we have to be careful. It's also very long. If you unrolled the scroll, it would be as long as a football pitch. After the covers are taken off, the rabbi or teacher reads a part of the Torah in Hebrew. We follow along in a book, which is written in English and Hebrew, because not everybody can understand the Hebrew. At the end of the service, the scroll is put back in the ark, and we wish our family and friends Shabbat Shalom. But Shabbat isn't over. Until tonight. Much long. Much long. It was lovely, wasn't it? But we'll be seeing Kim and Andrews, will not we? In the afternoon, we visit friends, but I really like it when we stay at home and relax. Oh, good, I love it. Okay, over to you. Your task today is to discuss what surprised you. What did you like? What will you remember from your virtual tour? Fill out the boxes with some ideas. Don't forget to take a picture and send it to your teacher. Maybe ask yourself, what makes a place special? Did you notice anything that was the same about churches and synagogues? And what did you notice that was different? Well done, everybody. That's the end of our RE lesson for this week. See you soon. Stay safe.